This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Forex Report. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Premier Trade Forex Report for Thursday, July 12th, 2007. The dollar attempted to rally during today's session, but it was unsuccessful in holding on to the small gains. As of the 8.30 release of weekly jobless claims and the trade balance was a non-event as both indicators nearly match estimates exactly. Weekly, weekly claims fell to 308,000 while the trade deficit widened to 60 billion. Of course, it may have been a near 200 point rally in the Dow that helped to bolster the buck as treasury yields moved up to 5.12%. However, this raises the question of whether higher yields are a good thing with the housing market already in such rough shape. Whatever caused the greenback strength early this morning, it was not enough to keep traders on board for the entire session. Commodity currencies have advancing against their U.S. counterpart all day as oil and gold make another run higher and Canada's surplus exceeded estimates. The bigger story in the market still seems to be the growing concern about U.S. housing and how it will affect the consumer. This makes tomorrow's morning's data incredibly important to Forex traders. Perhaps if retail sales come in stronger than expected, the dollar will find some relief ahead of the weekend. Economists are looking for a 0.1% increase in the headline figure and 0.2% excluding autos. However, we must also take a look at the X gasoline number to see if consumers were simply spending more money because of higher gas or if we were really out there spending money on goods and services. The bottom line is that unless all the numbers are clearly good or bad, the market will not make what it wants of the news. If traders are collectively looking for a reason to take profits on dollar shorts ahead of the weekend, they can usually find an excuse and vice versa. Still ahead of this final U.S. report of the week are New Zealand's retail sales figure during Asian trading tonight. This has been the Premier Trade Forex Report for Thursday, July 12, 2007.